what's going on guys we're back in forza horizon 3 continuing on our let's play this is part 18 i hope you guys have been enjoying it happy weekend and i mean if you saw earlier today's video where i showed you guys how to get an enormous amount of xp there has been some slight changes in my level i'm now level 132 i also have a lot of wheel spins i think 40 plus wheel spins which we'll probably get some more of uh throughout this but I have 200 perk points. So before we start up today's video, I'm not actually sure what we're going to go do. But we're like 100,000 fans away from opening up or doing our next showcase event, which would just be crazy. I think we'll just do like a race here or a PR stunt here uh, to get enough, basically, skill points. Or get enough fans, excuse me, to get our showcase event and then do our showcase event. I'm super pumped for that. But what I really want to start up today is spending all these skill points, man. There's so many. I'm just gonna go crazy. I can totally get everything in here. It's like, let's go. I'm gonna get so annoyed with how slow this animation is. Come on, keep going. Here we go. We've got 200, man. Anyways, we we finally have all of our skill points now, or all of our all of our perks, I should say. Oh, look at this. We're also gonna get some new cars. We're gonna get the Lamborghini Gallardo, and we're also going to get the Mini Cooper, the old 1969 Mini Cooper. Yeah, buddy. I'm surprised it didn't level up from that 20k. Anyways, there's 30k cash. There is another 20k XP, and the higher we go through this, the more we'll get. Oh, we're doing a wheel spin. I got an instant wheel spin. Come on, get my dream car. That's my lamp. Yeah. 5k. I could afford my... I could afford my MX-5 for that. Are we really gonna be doing all the wheel spins right now? Because if so, oh shit. There's another one. Uh, let's just collect prize. Let's collect prize. Okay, we did two wheel spins. All right, let's back out of here. Continue doing all these perks. Let's get all these perks, man. Sponsor the people and get 50k just, just, just for that. 30k credits. Thank you. We're going to level up again, I think. No, we're not. There's another 100k credits. We're actually level 141 now. That's insane. 40,000 XP done. Let's get the good old Mini Cooper. I'm so excited to build that thing, man. That thing should be so sick. And then we've got 40,000 more XP. We're going to level up like again like crazy. And then we're going to do another wheel spin. Oh, we can win the 570S. The 570S is so... Oh, achievement. I want it all. What is that? Complete every page in the skill scop, including excluding temporary perks. Got it, man. Sweet. We got an achievement for that. That's so sick. All right. We still have a bunch of skill points, which we'll eventually have to spend on these like... Uh, the time ones, but, eh, that's cool. Let's go, let's go right up here. We've got an undiscovered PR stunt right there. It seems like it's off-road, but it might be like a little drift section right there. We're in the all-wheel drive Audi R8 2017 one, so, I mean, regardless of what it is, we shouldn't have a problem with it, so let's head up there. And then, hey, once we do this, then we will get the, uh, then we'll be able to do their, our next showcase event, which I'm really pumped for. All the showcase events so far in this game have been unreal. It's just like we raced a plane, like legit raced a plane. We were in the air with it. We went and raced a boat and we were in the water with the boat. And then we went and raced what? We raced a train and we jumped over the train multiple times. Uh, so what is this right here? This is going to be a, oh, it's a speed zone. Okay, so let's let's enter from over here. Come on, Audi R8. I love this car, man. I don't know if it's just me, but the I got another skill point. I needed that, clearly. Uh, but... But yeah, anyways, I'm just a huge fan of this R8, man. It's so sick. I, I don't know what it is about it. It's just a really, really cool car. I love that rear wing as well. Oh, sweet. This is a cool rally spot. Anyways, that's going to be a new personal best. That is going to be one big star. That's all I needed. 100,000 fans. That's going to be 10 million fans. That's crazy. That's actually 10.1 million. Hey, Nick. You're not going to believe this. I sent Horizon my proposal for the final showcase. The biggest, stupidest, craziest idea I had. I thought, not a chance. They said do it. So we're doing it. Get down here right now. Oh, shit. All right, let's go do it. We're going to get 2 million fans from that. Is that what that said? Big Air Showcase in the final showcase mission for Forza Horizon 3. That's crazy. What is this going to be? It's like we're racing against a blimp. But a blimp's slow, isn't it? Right? What are we gonna be racing against? I still don't know. Yeah, that's a blimp. That's a big blimp. In the razor. Have fun, yeah? Thank you, I appreciate it, Kira. Holy shit, it's actually not that slow. Uh, it's kind of slow. 
But I mean, the Razor's not a rocket ship. This should be uh, quite a fair race, I think. Holy shit, look at that, it's an airship. It's got like four, its engine is bigger than my car. If you can even count this as a car. That's insane. Oh my god, it's like shaking the ground underneath it. So this is the final showcase mission for Forza Horizon 3. And I mean, hey, the only thing after this we gotta do is we gotta max out all our festivals to level 5 each. And we've only got two of those left to do as well. Holy shit, look at that airship. That's huge. That's honestly one of the biggest things I've ever seen in a Forza game. It's like if you thought the, the hot air balloons from Horizon 2 were big, uh-uh. That's proper big, that, that blimp. They've actually done this a really smart way because the blimp isn't that fast. We had to do like a little bit of weavy stuff back there. So that's really, really good. Oh my god, and we're going through water as well. Oh, there are checkpoints on this. I didn't think there were checkpoints. All right, and we're 40% of the way through this race. Holy shit, we're jumping. Holy shit, we're gonna hit the blimp. Holy shit, look at its speed. It's so fast. I didn't think a blimp could go like 80 miles an hour. Right? How fast can a blimp go? It's honestly shaking the screen like crazy. It's really off-putting. It's like as soon as we get behind this, the whole screen goes duh, 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 and shakes like crazy. Like, look at it. This is a really cool test though, because that blimp's basically going in just a straight line from one side to the other. And it's like, we've got to do all these weavy things and try to like basically outpace the blimp through the corners. The finish line is right up here. We're 15% of the way from the finish. That blimp is in front of us right now. Oh, we're gonna pass underneath the blimp. Right up to the finish line. We're gonna take the blimp. The screen's vibrating like crazy. And I think we got the blimp. We got one corner to go. This is actually gonna be much closer than I thought. That's not helping things. The blimp's really close. I can't even tell. I can't even see him. Yes! We got it! First place in the blimp. Wait, Razor? We took down an airship in our little Razor. Oh, wow, look at that, 7,000 credits for that. That's not too bad, actually. And we're gonna be picking up 6,000 XP. That's not too bad. Oh, we leveled up from that, cool. We're, oh, we can win a TVR. Will it burst into flames like the Hindenburg? Come on. No, we are getting a Subaru BRZ, though. I want a rocket bunny, that thing. And then, the big thing, 2.4 million fans we can already go in and expand our festival our next festival expansion is at 14 million you are having a laugh game and i mean hey we still have a bunch of street races to do as well we still gotta get that lambo last part we did two street races and got the rx7 and the buick well, but damn we the biggest horizon festival in history horizon australia isn't going anywhere there are more races and pr stunts out there and plenty more fans to bring down under. So, what should we do next? Shit, that's so cool. Oh, we beat the game. We beat the game. Oh, it's Ralph. Oh, there's so many people. Oh, my boy, Grant. Oh, yeah, Grant. Oh, thank you to all of you who made this game. It's a good one. Job well done, lads. Very, very good one. Thank you all so much. It's like, it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like we're still not done. Best Horizon ever. Complete the final showcase. Progress to final showcase, 100%. We're done, and we picked up some huge achievements for that, too. I met a fan last night. Said 50 of his friends were coming up from Sydney. I think we might need to expand again. Oh, shit, okay. So, where are we going to expand? We can expand Yarra Valley, or we can expand... Uh, let's expand Yarra Valley. I like Yarra Valley, man. It's sort of like a really nice central hub for us. I find we spend so much time there because we've got this huge, awesome lake right here, which I seriously love to spend so much time next to. Like, when I'm not recording a video, that's where I just go and sit. It's so nice. And then, I mean, it's close to the airport as well. I mean, it's obviously not the outback close to the airport, but it's still not far. And then it's not that far away from Surfer's Paradise either. You can t basically just take the highway all the way to Surfer's Paradise. And it takes you like two, three minutes to get there. So I don't know, I find Yarra Valley like a really cool festival. I also don't really like the dirt and all like the off-road. I mean, I love the off-roady stuff. I just don't like all like the sand that's in the outback really. You know what I'm just thinking now saying that? I'm like, sand, sand dunes. Mercedes six by six, balls. Oh, shit, shit. You would expect me to know the way around the Yarra Valley festival, considering I spend so much time here. 
Honestly, all right, here we go. Expand the festival. And it's gonna go from a completely normal looking festival to the cat ear festival. It's so ugly level four. I hate level four. It's got these stupid cat ears off the top of it. It just looks ugly. You've got to hand it to our scouts. They're certainly thorough. Holy shit, that's a far See what you make of these. Is that really Yarra Valley all the way up there? It's so far. I mean, shit, there's a lot of events to do though. Oh yes, we can finally go towards the off-roady stuff out there. I'm excited for that. Those two off-roady places all the way out there are awesome. Holy shit, we got a bunch of new stuff to do though. I'm excited for this. So, you know what I think we should do though? I think we'll head be down here. That's an exhibition race. Yeah, cross-country circuit as well. We need to take an off-roady thing. But you know what? Before we do that, I think it's time. Wheel spins! I don't even know how many I have. I think, I think probably around 50. Uh, I'll have to count in the video, but... I mean, we'll see. We're at 8.3 million credits right now. Let's go through all our wheel spins. I'm gonna fast forward and just cut to when there's something cool, really. So, enjoy this. I mean, hey, that's not too bad. 70,000 credits. Not bad! Yeah! Jag F-Type Horizon Edition, man. That's awesome. That's huge. That's three Horizon Edition cars in a row now we've gotten, or we could possibly win. Oh, never mind. Not that one. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, we got the Camaro Horizon Edition. That's two Horizon Edition cars now. Ooh, maybe a Lambo. And that's it! There's all my wheel spins. So, I don't actually know how many wheel spins that is. I'm gonna have to put the answer right here. I don't know how many it is, but that was a lot. And from that, we got like what? 2.4 million credits-ish. We pulled two Horizon Edition cars, which is pretty cool, I must say. So, I mean, hey, that's not that's not too bad at all. So, I mean, let's get going and, and do this cross-country event. So, I can't believe we need two million fans now to expand our festival again. It's like, that's gonna take forever to do. It's like, if you thought we were close to the end of this Let's Play, there's still a lot to do. And up we go, and the cross country event is right here. I love this area, by the way. I don't know what it's called, it's just, it's really cool with all these like hills everywhere. So it should be pretty cool. So we've completed the exhibition. Have we completed the exhibition? Why did it say new? We've done this. We did this in like episode two or three. What? Why? Why? Liars. All right, well screw you guys, we're going to do this one then. All right, so what's this event? This is a trail race, so we don't want to take a supercar. Timbermill Trail in the Crown Vic. I don't really want to do that. Yeah, vintage racing. There we go. Oh, let's take a... Do we take the Sandman or do we take the Ute? I mean, they're both sort of Utes, but let's take the Sandman. All right, that's the Sandman? Good on me. That was a that was a Holden Maloo. I actually didn't know that I had one of these. I, I don't remember buying one. I guess I must have won one from a wheel spin at some point or got it on like a discount or something. I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure, but anyways, there's that cool thing. All right, so I do think we are on the hardest to- wow, that paint that Mechberg's got is really nice. I love the white with the black on the bottom. And I mean, usually when I do these races and I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, I usually have quite a good car to compete in. This time, I mean, the, the, the Maloo's great, but it's no real rocket ship. Is that a Reliant or is that a Sandman? Oh no, that's a Sandman. I was like, what the hell? I thought I saw a wheel in the middle. I thought I, thought I saw some shadow there, but I guess not. That's a Sandman. Uh, so we're racing against an upgraded one of those now. Uh, watch out! Watch out! Stop bullying me! Oh, this is a super new brat! Hey, brat! Oh! Corners 50% of the way through this race. And sit rep. I mean, actually not going that badly. We're, we've moved up half the position from our poor start. Uh, smashing into Mechberg at the beginning of this race. So, I mean, hopefully with a couple of corners like that, 
we should be able to make up some spaces. Moved all the way up to fourth with that one. Now let's try to go a little bobbing and weaving here. Try to go a little bobbing and weaving. None of what I said is happening. Come on, keep the power in. That's going to be moved up to third place. We're going to try to get this guy on the inside. He's going to go for some braking early. Made that position stick. And closing in on the guy on the Air 12 Club. We're back onto the tarmac. Look at him in that thing. That thing's so big. Oh, it's jelly. And we're up the inside on it. And we've taken first position. I don't know if this is on the hardest difficulty. It might not be. I mean, our racing is definitely improved in this game. I don't think it's improved that much, though. There are also an unbelievable amount of crashes that I edit out of these videos because it makes me look like an absolute knob. Anyways, that looks like it's going to be the end of that race. Yes, it will indeed. I'm interested to see how many fans we get for this race, actually, because... I mean, if we're still getting the, what, 100k from me? That car got air. Holy shit, everyone's getting air. Sweet. But it's like, if we're still getting 100k fans from these races, oh my god, it's going to take forever. We're going to have 20 races to do before we expand our next festival. And then we're going to need even more than that. We're going to, like, run out of things to do. Anyways, 15,000 credits. That's not too bad. I mean, I would, I would like a little bit more, but that's not bad. 13,000 XP, not bad again. And we're gonna get another wheel spin. Like we needed that. Like a hole in the head. <gasps> I want my SVR. I've been saying since like episode one. I need an SVR. And I never got it. Went out and got one. Another 100,000 credits. Jesus Christ. And that's gonna be 150-ish thousand fans. So I mean, we're not super far away. And our frequency or our amount of fans definitely did increase a little bit. But it's still gonna be a hell of a lot of racing before we expand our next festival. So boys... Don't worry, even though we wrapped up the showcases today, these seri this series isn't going anywhere. Alright, so this is there's this undiscovered route all the way up here. Let's go fast travel up there. Do that one. That's gonna probably be another like sort of trail one. I mean it starts off road. Right? So I mean we could take we could take a bunch of things actually. I'm not sure what we'll take. So this is a cross-country mountain circuit. Oh, it's suggesting the buggies. I guess we should probably take the buggies. I've learned my lesson. If it suggests to take the buggy, you should probably take a buggy. Uh, we're gonna take our Aerial Nomad just because I think it's the fastest thing we have. Oh, we were only on Expert! Oh, well, balls. Um, should we go up to the- let's go up to Pro. Let's go up to Pro. Our Aerial Nomad, the first- the last time we drove this was episode one in our series. It's so crazy to go full circle. It's like we almost got the SVR that we promised in episode one. We're back in an Aerial Nomad since we last spoke about it in episode one. Holy shit, that was a jump and a half, and we moved up to 7th place. Come on, we're still in 7th place. We're fighting a Razor. Look at the acceleration of the Polaris Razor. Up to 6th place, make that 5th, avoid those. 5th place, not bad. 1 of 3 laps completed. Jump! Oh, shit. Oh, my God, we jumped 2 people. I missed the checkpoint nearly. I've dropped a couple plates. What are you doing, you knobhead? All right, third place. Third place is not bad. Third place is not bad. Oh, I've got, a, I've got a razor up my butthole. That sounds painful. All right, we're going to try a wide line this time. There we go. There's a different style of line. And that time, we're going to make the place stick up to second position. Oh, shit. His car's really cool. All right, we got to get first place now. Ooh, these going through those slow you down. All right, jump, jump, jump all around. Oh, my God, I've jumped a tree. Quite poor landing, but I've taken first. Oh my god, look at that suspension. How does it not explode? Also, why did Ariel make an off-road car? How do you go from track car to essentially off-road track car? Like, how is that a thing? Like, look at the weight. Look at that! That's like a foot of travel on the suspension. Ooh, we've pulled away from the pack, though. That is looking good. Uh, I forget where to go. Oh, yes, through here. Come on, Aerial Nomad, across the line. Just nearly cocked that one up at the last second. Once again, if you missed it in, like, episode four, I think it was, I did that exact same thing. I was looking behind because there was a person closing in on me, and I, and I was, like, occupied by them, and I binned it. Came, like, sixth or seventh place in the race. I forget which episode it was. Anyways, 15k credit for that. Not bad, XP-wise. Uh, I, I got no skills. Big boy fans, 150,000 fans. Nearly 13 million fans we have now. We started today's episode with nine. That's four million fans in an episode. This Aerial Nomad is actually really solid to drive. I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. It's like, not a bad car at all to drive around in and like, coon about it. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong side of the road. 
I keep forgetting Australia's rules. Oh, shit, it's a danger sign. Oh, it goes that way. Ooh, we're coming from the wrong direction. All right, well, let's get a cheeky run up and then try it. In the aerial nomad, how well can this thing fly? I mean, from the from the tests we did or from the race we did, it flies rather well, actually. All right, go! Oh, shit, we just jumped off a cliff. 300 feet, that should be some decent, decent stuff, right? I mean, that wasn't bad. Oh, I thought we were gonna like bounce off that. One, oh, really, just one. Just one fan, or one star. 100,000 fans though, that's not bad. 13 million fans this episode. Not bad. Anyways, guys, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you guys can subscribe down below, share with your friends. Let's see if we can get some more wheel spins than me. I, did, I, got, I got quite a lot. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like, continue to smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!